Hey cake nistas, it's Marisha and you guys have been asking me for more couture cake videos and I've got your back. We're going to be making this huge cupcake cake, so check this out. You ready for this? I've got four 9 inch cake layers and a cake that I baked in a bowl. We're going to start off with the first three 9 inch cake layers. We need to taper it and we're cutting off about a half inch from the bottom layer, about a quarter inch from the middle, and we're not even touching the top layer. You need to do this all the way around to get that inward cupcake shape. Remember to step back, look at it, make sure it looks like a cupcake and that it's all even and squared off. Not, not literally squared off, but you know what I mean, squared away. Now I'm gonna move on to the bowl cake. I need to cut off that dome that you see there, and then I'm gonna stack all of my cakes together. So I'm going to cut off that curved edge and make it more of a pointier edge. And then you've got plenty of cake scraps. So if you need to put any of them on top, you can do that. And that's what, like, you know, cake carving is all about. It's your masterpiece. It's clay. No, it's not really clay, but you know what I mean. I'm trying to make a point. Now I'm going to break all of that down and I'm going to level off each of the cakes, hit it with a little bit of simple syrup, which is equal parts of water and sugar that I've simmered down a little bit. And then I'm going to add some frosting. I'm going to do that for all of the cake layers until I get to my bowl cake. I'm even going to cut the bowl in half just so that I can make that its own two layers as well. I'm also going to cut off some of those crunchier edges and I'm trying to make the cake more smooth and more tapered. And now I'm going to crumb coat the entire cake and then this is going to go in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes or so. Now while this cake is in the refrigerator, we're going to roll out some white fondant into about half inch strands. These are going to be about 4 inches in length. Now yours may be a little bit shorter or a little bit longer and it depends on your cake. And then we're going to stick them to the bottom of the cake with about a half inch to an inch of space in between each strand. So that would be up to you. Now I'm going to roll out some violet colored fondant. And I'm going to apply this to the bottom of the cake. This is really hard because it was such a big cake. But just keep working with it and try to be patient. It even started to crack on me. And I said, no, you will not. No, you will not ruin my life today. Body heat is everything. That's all I've got to say. And then you're going to use your fingers to go and indent the fondant into the fondant strands to really, really make that cupcake liner look stand out. And I had to definitely apply this in two parts because it was so big around. Now we're going to put some vanilla frosting into a piping bag with the Wilton 1M tip, the traditional rosette tip. And we're going to start off with a bottom row of rosettes. Make sure that they overlap just a little bit so that you don't have any gaps if you can help it. And if you do have gaps, you can go ahead and fill that in later on. This is my favorite part. I love making rosettes because they're so easy and ridiculously beautiful. I think I probably had classical music playing at this point. I was so at peace with life until I got down to the bottom. I needed one or two more rosettes and I ran out of frosting. So I had to go to my stash that I always keep in the refrigerator. Now we need to just decorate it. And throughout the night I made some fondant butterflies and daffodils. I just used a, like a cookie cutter and then a little indenture that I had for butterflies. I made the daffodils and I'm hitting them up with some orange petal dust. 
And to make the cake look a little bit more finished, I'm even gonna go in with the spoon and the little indentations and really cut out any of that extra fondant from the bottom. This is the completed cake. This baby was 10 inches high and eight inches across. To take this from point A to point B, it took no laughter, two hands, and a very, very serious soul for the moment. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you might want to see next. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook and everything else that you can think of because I'm on it. Couture and a huge cupcake cake. Bye, guys.